Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. Wanted to do a quick video for you on EpiPen. Uh, I've taken this one apart, so we're kind of going to go through the bits and pieces of it and talk about it. EpiPens can be used by people who have severe allergic reactions to food, bee stings, you know, environmental allergies, things like that, that if they get stung or they eat certain food, that they could die. This isn't just a simple allergic reaction. Uh, this is something that is life-threatening. This is anaphylactic shock that they could go into. So the doctor prescribes them an EpiPen. Now you do have to have a prescription for an EpiPen. Um, I know some who, who will talk to their physicians and say they're worried about getting stung by bees or worried about something like that and their physician will write them a prescription for an EpiPen. But you do have to have a prescription. When you administer the EpiPen it does two things inside the body. During a severe allergic reaction, the lungs will actually constrict. The alveoli inside the lungs will start to constrict. And that's where you get that wheezing noise in severe allergic reactions for the person breathing. So this will actually go in and open that up. Now, inside the actual body, the container, the blood vessels start to expand. Because the body's trying to get rid of all the bad stuff that's in the blood vessels. So, but it can actually overexpand, and that's going to cause your patient's blood pressure to drop. So the epi will actually go in there and constrict the blood vessels to make the container smaller again and bring your patient's blood pressure back up. The physician, your doctor may be kind of cautious about giving you an EpiPen, especially if you don't have severe allergic reactions because using an EpiPen can be dangerous and life-threatening. Now, like I said earlier, earlier, we're supposed to use this for a life-threatening situation, but if you were just using this for a simple allergic reaction, and you insert the EpiPen into your, your thigh or your buddy's thigh, then you can actually cause them to have a heart attack. You can cause all kinds of medical problems by using the EpiPen if it's not necessary. Now, if it's necessary to use the EpiPen and it's a life-threatening allergic reaction, then absolutely, this is going to save your buddy's life or save your life. As you can see, we've, we've tore this one apart here. Uh, you've got the one mainspring here that's going to help release the pen back once it's been injected into the skin. This smaller pen here is what actually forces the needle through the clothing and into the skin. Now you can see by the video we did earlier, this was a fairly large needle and this is just designed to go into someone's skin through their clothing. So you don't have to worry about taking their blue jeans off or anything like that. So we take this apart. There's our needle here. And then this is where the epi actually is in place that is stored. Now if you look through this side, then you can see the epi without actually of course taking it apart because this is all solid. As long as the epi is clear, uh, it's, it's still good from my understanding. Once epi starts going bad, then it will turn like a dark brown or start turn a brown color. So this is here. Uh, this is your main spring here that's going to eject the epi. Once you have stuck the needle in someone's leg, you want to leave it in there for a few seconds so all the medicine goes in. Now when I'm teaching students how to deliver an EpiPen, I always teach them to hold it like this, not to put your thumb over the back side because in a moment of panic, you may accidentally put your thumb over the wrong end here and you don't want the needle going to your thumb. So if you actually hold it like this, when you go to inject it into yourself or to do a buddy aid with this, then this is the way you hold it. Don't stick your thumb over the back side. Now in this video, you're seeing the epi actually eject out of the needle. You can see that it's a fairly large needle that's coming out. But there again, this is designed to go through someone's clothing to reach inside the muscle. You can also notice how long it's taking the medicine to fully come out of the needle. So that's why I say, if you do insert this into someone's leg, leave the needle in there for several seconds before pulling the EpiPen back off. Like I was saying, you grab it here, you would push in, you're going to feel it pop, leave it for a few seconds, and then retract it. It'll go through these blue jeans with no problem. Thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder.